بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والشكر لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه My beloved brothers and sisters as we are approaching towards the end of Ramadan allow me to remind myself and all of us first to be always thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have performed fast we have done every commandments and the sunans of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam truly only because of the blessings and the guidance of Allah and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so we may all be thankful that we have done it not because we are superman or superwoman not because we are strong enough or we are knowledgeable enough but we have done it simply because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has willed that we are able to do it brothers and sisters the month of Ramadan is truly a month of training and I would like to call it a month of transformation the month of Ramadan is not only a month of a bunch of rituals that we perform throughout the month from fasting to tarawih to recitation of the Holy Quran Qiyamul Layl, Adhkar, Tasabih, Wa Ma Ila Dhalik, and so on and so forth. But more importantly, the month of Ramadan must have become the month of transformation, transforming us into a better state, a better situation, to become someone who is better than previous months of the year. So what types of transformations that the month of Ramadan should bring to our lives? Number one, it transforms our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That by performing fasting, we are becoming closer with Allah subhanahu to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ O Muhammad, if my servant ask you concerning me, then tell them that I'm so close to them. Fasting is a very personal, private, intimate connection between a servant and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it truly trains a Muslim, a believer, to become closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So may this man has transformed us to become closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second transformation that the month of Ramadan has brought to us is intellectual transformation. It transforms our mentality, our psychology, and the way we think, our mindset, to see more importantly about life, that life is not limited by this narrow world and materials, but life is wider than this just physical appearance or physical existence of the life itself. So we can build a true vision of akhirah oriented life. That our life is not only for this dunya alone. That we are running behind this dunya. Running behind this materialistic life. But more importantly, we go beyond the limits of this dunya. Brothers and sisters, beloved brothers and sisters. One of the most important transformations that the month of Ramadan has brought to us is a moral character or human conduct transformation. We call it al-akhlaq al-karima. Al-ibadat in al-Islam, my brothers and sisters, generally are intended to shape our human character and the highest level of purposes of any ibadah that we do in al-Islam is to make us better human beings. In munkar. Salat prevents us from bad and any negative things in life. Some Ramadan or fasting in the month of Ramadan also must bring us into a better situation in terms of our human conduct and human character. That's why Rasulullah warned, saying, 
لرب صائم ليس له من صيامه إلا الجوع والعطش. You might find some people that they will not find and they will not get anything from his fasting, but except thirst and hunger. In the day of judgment, there are some people are becoming bankrupt, not because they don't have money, not because they are poor, but according to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, because they turn back to Allah subhanahu wa taala with their salat, with their zakat, with their ibadat, but they have insulted, they have lied. They have underestimated to many people around. So in the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala throw him into the hellfire instead of let him enter into the jannah. Brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us, has accepted from all of us. But more importantly, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has enabled us so that we can bring, bring transformation truly in our lives to become a better human being, insha'Allah ta'ala. Again, I would like to congratulate you on this end of Ramadan. Congratulations on Eid al-Fitri. Eid Mubarak to all of you. May Allah accept from all of us. May Allah bless us. May Allah keep us and protect us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.